Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be quite different. Um, actually, both videos this week are going to be quite different, so hopefully you guys enjoy them. Um, I do have some uh, regular resin ideas that will be for next week. Uh, for this week, we are still working with resin, we're just not pouring a lot of it. So, um, I wanted to try to make little resin keychains using paper um, embellishment kind of things. And I have, um, my favorite paper company is Graphic 45, so I have quite a few of these 8x8 collections from them. Um, so I pulled the old Curiosity Shop one. This one, as you can see, I've used quite a lot. Um, there's a lot of scraps at the back. But, <clears throat> I was flipping through, and I saw a few images here that I thought would be cool, um, and here that I thought would be kind of cool to make some pendants out of. And then, same token, this is the Once Upon a Springtime collection, and let me see if I can find it real quick. Not that one. I don't think. Yeah, this this one. There's some very pretty green tone images that I really like. And then for Imagine, which is a steampunk kind of collection, I thought that some of these images might be pretty cool. And I want to say there was another page I was looking at, but maybe that was the only one. Yeah, that was the only one. So this page. Okay. So, my plan is to um, cut out some of the images. I'm going to hole punch them with my crocodile uh, so we can set some eyelets in it, eye eyelets <laughs> in the hole, you know, to sturdy the hole. Uh, but before we set the eyelet, I'm going to do some UV resin on top of the paper and cure that up. And then once we cure one side, we'll set the eyelet in the hole. Then we will flip it and cure the other side. Before I use the resin on the paper, I am going to be sealing the paper um, with some clear, clear sealant. I don't have it right here next to me <laughs> right this second. Clear sealant. Um, obviously, everything I use will be listed in the description box below. So, uh, if you're curious about what I use, always check there. Anyway, that's what I wanted to do today. I wanted to try something different and see if I could make some cute little keychains out of paper and resin. So, with that very long introduction, let's go ahead and get started, shall we?
right friends so I have cut all of these out and I grabbed the sealer that I use this is the Mod Podge clear acrylic sealer um, so I typically whenever I'm sealing paper whether it's to go into resin or really do anything with resin I do like two to three coats per side this does dry rather quickly so it, it's not going to take hours and hours to do but I'm going to go ahead and seal these um, really quick it's just like any spray paint you just go over it you know um, and yeah so I'm gonna do that off camera and then we will be back and we will use the um, the resin and the hole punch and all of that stuff okay hang tight okay so these have been sprayed and they've dried they like I said the Mod Podge dries very very quickly got my little crocodile here it's from we are memory keepers um, and I've got some eyelets so these are what the eyelets look like in case you're not a paper crafter you may not know what eyelets look like they're also called grommets um, pretty cheap you can get them on Amazon so what you do with these with the crocodile is on either side of this so this side and this side you've got a hole punch and so the here's one side of the hole or one size hole punch and here's the other one um, I don't know that it tells you the sizes of the holes it doesn't so this side the bigger side is like a typical hole punch and then this side is a smaller one um, the way you can know what size you need is to fit your eyelet into the hole like so so it fits really well into this side it does not fit at all into this side so it doesn't go into that side it goes into this side so that's how you know what size hole you need so I'm gonna line this up how I want it and hole punch and they've got like a, a size measurer here but I'm just gonna go off an eyeball because um, it doesn't really matter to me like because each hole is going to be a different size I don't feel the need to adjust this slider if that makes sense so like I said I'm just going off an eyeball and just punching a hole where I think it should go so I'm gonna go around and do all of that and then um, I'm gonna do the UV resin and then my voice will be back to explain to you guys a little bit more about how to set these in case you've never used one of these or set eyelets or anything, okay? Okay.
Okay, friends, so like I said, this, yeah, I do have my mic on. This is an experiment. Um, so this is the top coat of resin on it, and as you can see, it did kind of curl up the paper. So I'm gonna try a different tactic. I'm going to try to, um, instead of using the paintbrush to move the resin, uh, you know, to the edges, I'm gonna try and paint a very thin layer of resin on top and then see if I can fill it in, if that makes sense. Um, hoping that it won't curl up like it did for, for these, okay? So let's, let's give that a try. Okay, so that worked for the most part. There is still a little bit of bend in it, but I'm wondering what will happen if I do the same thing to the other side. Uh, so let's give that a shot. Okay, so that actually worked a lot better. I mean, it's still got a little bit of curvature to it, but compare it to the other one before it, you know? Um, yeah, which makes me sad because this was probably one of my favorite ones because you know me, I like, I like creepy things. So that worked a lot better. Um, so the next step, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, for you guys. And then I'll probably finish all the rest of these off, off camera. Because this is already probably going to be a very long video. Um, okay. So, the way that the crocodile works is you've got this large stud here. 
and you've got this kind of rounded, almost nipple shape um, stud here on this side. <clears throat> the way that you want to set this is you want to put the large flat part on this bottom stud. Let me see if I can do this and hold it. So like that. So again, the nipple part is up here, up here. <laughs> Fingers work. And then the large stud part is down here. Okay. So then, once you get it on there, you're going to take your, your item and you want to put the face down onto, onto that piece. Again, the nipple is up. This, uh, the eyelid is set on the bottom. So I'm going to place this in here. Actually, let me pause. I'm also going to get a camera, uh, a phone camera angle. So that way it's a little bit more clear for you guys. Since I only, I only have one of these to do this too for right now. Okay. Hang tight. Okay. So let's try this again. We've got the large stud right here, the nipple on the top, put your eyelet in. Again, this piece is going to be face down. might be a little hard to get it on there because of the resin well one way you can do it also is just to push the eyelid in and then set it on the crocodile I knew that I just wanted to do it difficultly for you guys then I'm squeezing the handle like that you squeeze it nice and hard and it sets it, it sets it into there if you don't like the look of it you can do it again and just squeeze it even harder okay and so now you've got you've got your eyelet so I've got the eyelet yeah the back is a little ugly but you know if it's a keychain that's not really gonna matter all that much okay did that stop that camera it did okay all right so like I said I'm gonna finish the rest of these off camera um, get the eyelets all set. Let me know uh, in the comments if you guys have any questions. I'm more than happy to answer them. Would I try this technique again? Um, I'm not sure. I also have uh, over there, I've got some Rust-Oleum clear coat that I have sprayed on, um, on one of these to see if that helps seal the paper a little bit more. As we know with resin, um, resin will will shrink in as it cures it'll shrink away which is why when you're using a resin mold if you don't fill it up all the way you'll have those sharp the sharp edges because as it's curing it's shrinking so that's why the paper shrinks with it uh, well not the paper shrinks that's why the paper curls when it's curing <coughs> words are hard I tell you what um, so yeah, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this little kit that I got off of Amazon. It's just got a bunch of different um, keychains uh, in there. And then also eyelets to put the keychains on. So that's what I'll use. I won't show you guys that because I've showed that um, plenty of times before. And... Yeah, so stick around for the glamour shots, um, of course, and let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this technique before? Have you found a solution for the paper or the picture if you're using, you know, like a, like a photograph? Uh, have you found a way to keep it from curling in on itself when it's curing? Let me okay, friends, I'm interjecting here. <laughs> I may have perfect perfected this look how nice and straight that is um so what i did was i painted a very thin layer on one side cured it um partially with a the light then cured it under the big the big nail light for 20 seconds did the same thing to the other side um and then i went back and added another layer of thicker resin Par cured it with the light, 
put it into the nail light for 30 seconds, but in 10 second increments, and then did another 30 seconds to cure it completely. And this is how nice and flat it turned out. For reference, the other one that I tried to do that to, um, but didn't, uh, I didn't cure it as slowly as this one. This is how it turned out. So that's how I'm going to finish the rest of these off. I, like I said, or maybe I haven't said yet, this, this video is going to be a whole mess. <laughs> um, I did spray some other ones with a Rust-Oleum clear coat to try and see if that will, um, help with sealing it even more than the Mod Podge does, but that's all going to be done off camera. Hopefully I can make this video coherent because at this point I'm wondering if I should just start the whole video over, but that's what we're going to try. We're going to try and, and do it slowly again to make it as nice and flat as this. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it looks great. Yeah. Okay. All right. On to the rest of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, I like to do experiments. I like to try new things. So that's what we're doing today. And if you uh, liked it, let me know. Hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel. helps me to grow. Also, if you also like to do experiments, stick around by clicking the red subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. <laughs> Take care.